Welcome back everyone. We're very happy to have Chris Olson joining us this morning from Welcome to Housing. And for people that don't know about Welcome to Housing, uh, we thought this was a good time to let people know what it is. Um, just in a nutshell, people that have been homeless or in a shelter or something like that, mm -hmm. if, if they get into a transitional house, if they get into an apartment, they don't have anything. What, what are they going to put in there, you know? Exactly. And we help anyone that's starting over, be escaping domestic violence, mm -hmm. immigrants that come into the area, uh, you name it. We have no geographic restrictions. Same idea as a food pantry, mm -hmm. but instead of food, we're giving out furniture, we're giving out household goods, we even have home decor, holiday decorations, and I'm really proud of the fact that we have adaptive equipment too. That's We've incredible. had everything from yeah. Hoyer lifts to hospital beds. Because it can cost thousands of dollars just trying to get a house. Um, it can. You know, everything from dishes to silverware to, you know, bathroom supplies. Years ago, I got a call yeah. from FEMA, and there was a family of four that mm -hmm. came all the way from Globe, Arizona. Uh, wildfires had obliterated everything mm -hmm. they had. By the time they moved up, they had a home in Otis. Both parents had jobs. They had an 11-year-old and a 1-year-old. But by the time they got moved up and everything else, they had diddly squat for furniture. Yeah. And we filled in the blanks. And uh, if anyone wants to get involved in volunteering, it is really fun to actually be that direct. There's no vouchers needed. Hand somebody something. Yeah. We had a 20-something years ago that we gave a, an orange juice or two. I didn't even think he'd know what it was. Yeah. You would think he had won the lottery. <laughs> uh, we had a caseworker one time who went to visit a client. They weren't home. They heard a noise around back. They found the client and the neighbor wailing away on a can of food because they had mm -hmm. no can opener. Yep. So that's the iconic the thing. The basic things. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And when I first started this program, I contacted the Bangor Area Homeless Shelter because 10 years before, for my 40th, we were at 7,300 for the shelter. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to do something again. And I really did not have a clue that people starting over end up with four walls, ceiling, and a floor, and nothing else. Yeah. And as Dennis Marble, uh, the retired now from the shelter, he said people don't have anything to sleep on, mm -hmm. eat off of, or cook with. We've had people get excited over getting flatware because there's yeah. been parents with kids and yeah. they have one set of flatware. Yeah. Well, that's where people come in too. You can't do this without people. And so when maybe people and we've are... we've been really fortunate because we've yeah. had a lot of people step forward. But if people want to get involved, we'd love to hear from them. Welcome to housing.com mm -hmm. is our website. We're all volunteer. Mm -hmm. We're really proud of that. There are several other furniture banks in Maine. There is the uh, program Yeah, we have food Portland. banks and things. So, so oh, yeah. one, we and, have yeah. uh, furniture friends down in Westbrook. They serve Cumberland mm -hmm. County. They have Project Fresh Start in Augusta. They have County Cares up in Arista County along with the Aristic Veterans mm -hmm. Alliance. And you could use, what, what do you need? You need financial things, first of all, financial, would be nice. Financial help is I know you're trying to build important. a solar array on your building there. We, we have $30,000 in the bank thanks mm -hmm. to the American Rescue Plan money through Penobscot County. And we need about 10000 more. We're going to go after some local grants for that mm -hmm. to try to get off the high price of we, everything we have right now we own. Yeah. We actually own the house outright thanks to the Stephen and Tabitha King Foundation. We put in a three-unit heat pump system. Mm -hmm. So environmentally, we're like diddly squat for a carbon footprint. That's great. And yeah. we're hoping to do solar to not only run the heating system, but also to have smaller power bills. Yeah, even though it's a nonprofit, there are always bills. Exactly, and when you own the building, it's really nice because you don't have to pay rent, yeah. but you do have to pay insurance. We've always had liability. And uh, I want to say thank you to Penobscot County Cares mm -hmm. and Doug Dunbar. Uh, it's a, an organization of all the nonprofits, and if you have a nonprofit out there, or if you'd like to get involved, we meet every other week. Mm -hmm. We met this Thursday. We're going to meet two weeks from uh, yesterday, and uh, we're involved in. Basically, it started as a focus on better access to mental health, better access to substance abuse disorder services, and the homeless crisis. And the issue is those three things are really mm -hmm. intertwined. Somebody who has a mental health issue might be self-medicating. They might have a hard time holding sure. on a job. And sooner or later, everyone out there is going to understand that prevention costs this much. Yeah. It costs this much to fix things. When right. they work at the March of Dimes, this much to educate a childbearing age couple, this much for a couple of days in the neonatal intensive care unit. And it's the same with people. And one of the things that we hope to do starting next month is raise some empathy and awareness. It, originally, I was going to call it uh, NIMBY No More. <laughs> But a lot of our organizations, every once in a while, we run into somebody that has an attitude about somebody with a mental illness or somebody with substance abuse disorder. And I love to tell people, and you rarely meet them anymore, but once in a while somebody will say, well, that would never happen to me. Yeah. 
I have a cousin with schizophrenia. He was a ward yeah. of the state for years. Mental illness really doesn't care how much money you make, no, it who you know, what your contacts are. It can happen to anybody. And it's the base of a lot of our problems today. Hey, we are about out of time here, Chris. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, you could use some volunteers. Definitely use um, some volunteers. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. We're very direct service. It's low barrier. In other words, if somebody needs something, we'll get mm -hmm. it. And a lot of times we'll get things for people that we don't have. We'll, we'll purchase them. Whether Welcome it's a to housing. safety seat or pack and play. Yeah. Welcome to housing.com for, for more information. You got All it. Right. Thank you, Chris, so much for coming. We'll get you Thank back you, in here too. Uh, let us know anytime we can help you out. All right, let's uh, check out that forecast again real quickly before we take the break. It looks like another messy day ahead today. Freezing rain, sleet and snow on the way. Highs around 35 degrees today. More rain and snow overnight with lows dropping down to around 33. Tomorrow, another messy day. Maybe you want to just stay inside and play with all your Christmas toys or something. The high tomorrow around 37. We'll be right back. Beautiful. Good job, buddy. Oh, sorry.